Welcome back. It's Hispanic Heritage Month, a time to pay tribute to Hispanic Americans who have positively influenced our nation. And that history runs deep right here in the metro. Indeed, when segregation kept Mexicans out of local high schools, four students set out to challenge the system and change that narrative for themselves and for generations to come. Here's 41 Action News' this Sinise Fields with the story. Rose Marie Mendez has a rich family history. Yeah, there. That's my mom and my uncle Jess. Her mother and uncle, among the first group of Mexican American students allowed to attend an all white high school in KCK. This is the class of 1930. Before that, there were no Mexicans graduating from that school at all. Nearly 25 years before the Brown versus Board of Education ruling. The schools really weren't ready uh, to accept people of color back in the 1920s. They had tomatoes thrown at my mom and my uncle and Marcos de Leon when they approached the front door of Argentine high school. Back then, the state provided separate high schools for white and black students, but Mexicans were only allowed to reach the eighth grade. As white parents threatened them for wanting to attend high school, historian Gene Chavez says Mendez's grandfather, Satorino Alvarado, wouldn't back down. He insisted that his children be allowed to attend Argentine high school. So the school board agreed to let them attend another high school, but it wasn't the victory parents had hoped for. They wanted to have them be in separate classrooms, uh, and uh, usually those classrooms were like in the basement or some annex, and uh, so the four children uh, parents decided, no, we're not going to do that. And so they actually held out for about a year, didn't send their children to school. The Mexican consulate soon stepped in, negotiating on behalf of the students and eventually making way for Mendez's mother and uncle to become pioneers. The third one was my mom, first Mexican girl. And I said, yes. So they graduated in the class of 1930 and high marks on all three of them. An accomplishment that laid the groundwork for the KCK public school district we know today, with Hispanic students making up 50% of the district's population. In KCK, Sine Fields, 41 Action News. The power of perseverance, right? The former Argentine high school is now a middle school, and the school's auditorium was named after Santorino Alvarado in 2003.